G'day, this is Bruce again and welcome to my shop on this Saturday morning. Uh, we've got an R&D project and uh, we've got to find a way of how much tonnage is required to flatten a piece of corrugated steel. This is a corrugated, it's, it's 0.75 millimetre thick and it's 500 MPA, it's for a, a structural beam. And we want to be able to flatten a section of it and then afterwards uh, to look at how we go about cutting holes in it, punching it, uh, punching punching a, a, an appetence in it and uh, also folding it over for stiffening. Uh, so we go, we do it, we're in the pre-design phase just uh, trying to first of all see how much power it takes to flatten it and then secondly after that we'll then we'll then uh, proceed to do the cutout by manual cutout uh, with the intent to, to build a machine that will uh, do this automatically as part of a beam line. So we'll swing around quickly and have a look. Um, you can see the gauge there. This is a 10 ton press, just a simple 10 ton ram press. Uh, workshop one, it's a small one, bench type. And um, we're just gonna, without further ado, we'll just keep, we'll pump the handle and we'll see what happens. I wanna see what the comeback is gonna be with as well. I haven't, I haven't covered the whole area, but I'm not too worried about that. I just want to see when I get to flat, fully flat. Uh, so we're on, we've only got about, uh, <coughs> about two, yeah, two metric tons on that. Uh, as we can see it there now, I'll drop that down a fraction. Yeah, so I've used about two metric tons. Um, that's close to three, uh, three American tons, US tons. So we've flattened, we've flattened pretty well in the centre. That's going to spring back, and we're going to give it another go. Well, let's see how that, uh, how much that springs back. Okay, so it, it sprung back a little bit. So we'll we'll give it another push, see if that makes any difference in the. Um, how much it's going to be flattened. Okay, we, once again we're up to that uh, two, two, and a, two, two and a half ton and uh, flatten it the second time. It's always going to have that, re that come back on there. Um, I might just slide that across and, and do a bit of pressing on, on this side. It's not, it's not a big opening here, so I can only do a certain amount. I'll try and get that across as far as I can to um, press down. So that's the maximum I've got. Oh, there we go. We can go across to here on the slide. We'll try that. And then we'll do the same on the other side and then come back in the centre. We may, we may make a bit more mileage out of it. Okay, we've got, got up to three metric ton. Release that off. Do it again. And uh, we'll swing over the other side. Do the same thing. Pull that sheet across as far as we can. Move that plate. I didn't have I didn't have any plated stuff big enough to do the whole side, but do the same thing. I'll go down twice. And three ton. Do it again. Okay, we'll go back in the centre and see if that makes any difference. Very handy little press this one. I bought it a few months ago. Uh, I was doing uh, doing some <coughs> cutting keyways uh, and uh, in the bro broaching keyways with my arbor press, 
and I was struggling big time uh, with my arthritis and, and I'm wondering why at previous time I'd actually pulled the muscles around these, these uh, the lower, the, sorry, the, the soft ribs and suffered for eight months until they cleared up. And so I just went out, it was 280 bucks, I just went and bought it and it's been a boon since I got it. Just too easy. Okay, there we go on our third one. I'm going to leave that because I'm going to take a photo of that as well. Um, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget, I've got uh, my uh, caps for sale. Uh, you go to, um, uh, you can order them. Simple, Bruce, get her out, one word, uh, at gmail.com. And I'm shipping them all over the world. I've, I've still got a few left. So get in there and um, send me an email and I will, um, I will give you all the details. Send me your details. Uh, we need this, uh, this, your help uh, in order to get to the Bar Z Bash again this year. Um, and where we're going to be featuring our, our, our getter outs and uh, other products as well that were coming online. Thanks for watching.